Hello again, fellow mountain bike enthusiasts. Welcome back to Chat MTB. My name is Andrew, and today I want to show you a quick gear review on the Thule T2 Pro XTR two bike rack with the two bike extender. And in addition to that, we're going to do a quick feature on the wall mount trailer hitch receiver that I use to store that bike rack when it's not on the car. Very cool. Uh, but before we get to that, if you haven't done so already, if you could, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and let's get started. So I've used the Thule 2 bike rack for quite a long time and I love it because it's versatile, it's easy to use. I mean, I can literally roll the thing down the driveway with the wheels that are attached, load it up to the car and go. Very, very convenient. But I've run into a problem recently, and it's a good problem to have. I have more folks that want to start riding with us, and the more riders equals the more bikes. So I decided to get the two bike extender, and then decided, let's just make a video on how this whole thing operates. It's quick, it's easy, but it's helpful. Uh, so in order to get you to the bike parks, the local trails, with you and three of your buddies, Let's show you what this thing looks like. Let's go take a look. Okay, so here it is on the uh, car. Uh, this is the four bike setup. The two bike setup stops right about here. Uh, so you can see it's just double the size. Uh, like I said, it is heavy. It weighs 90 pounds. So once it's on the car, we'll leave it there for a little while. Anyway, uh, this is up in the upright position. Very simple to uh, drop down. You're gonna lift up on the handle. And as soon as you hear it click, it's locked. It's not going anywhere. Uh, what I like about this uh, rack too is that it is very versatile, spacious. You have the front tire on this particular rack here, then it goes rear, front, rear, allows for you know handlebars, pedals, everything to sort of work um, in tandem with each other. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my bike on here really quick just to show you how easy and quick it is. Uh, before you throw a bike on, you wanna go ahead and grab the front tire uh, restraint, you know, pull that forward, and here's the rear tire strap. You want to just go ahead and maybe loop that into that little groove there. Uh, that way it's easier to throw the bike on and strap it down. So very simple. Get the uh, front tire locked in that cage. You're going to bring up the front restraint, push it down, click it down until it's tight. And then here on the back rim, there's a strap and you just wanna make sure you kinda of get it centered, your spokes centered uh, where that strap is. Pull the strap through. There's a little rubber piece here to protect your rim. And then you kinda of just feed it into the mechanism there once it's in there. You just kinda of ratchet it down a little bit. Bike is tight, it's not going anywhere. Uh, again, very versatile, the bikes go. Uh, opposite so you'll have a front tire here rear front rear i uh, can handle e-bikes regular bikes uh, e-bikes up to 60 pounds per uh, per route what you can also do is drop it down so if you want to gain access to the tailgate all you got to do is pull in that strap again drop it and then if you have a vehicle like this open your tailgate it won't hit the pedals won't hit the handlebars uh, easy in easy out and then once you're finished just lift it back up until you hear that click, and then you're good to go. So here is that wall receiver for the hitch, uh, the Thule two bike rack, the Thule four bike rack. I've also used it with my Thule single bike rack, which has not been shown in the video today. Uh, it's a great feature. It's very reasonably priced online, and I'll throw the link down below. But as you can see, it keeps the bike rack nice and out of the way. Uh, you can also fold the bike rack down. It's it's rated at about 250, 280 pounds of weight. So you can also put the bike rack down if you want to work on the bike, if you don't have a uh, portable bike stand or anything like that. But great product, guys. Very cool, very uh, ingenious design. Put it right into a stud in the wall with four bolts, and it's up and it's out of the way. So anyway, if you're looking for a really good bike rack, Thule is obviously a great product. There are lots of manufacturers out there. Thule is my favorite. They're on the higher price point, 
but I love the form, the function, the versatility of what they have to offer. And I would love to hear your thoughts on what you're using or if you've also used the two bike or four bike or even the single bike rack uh, from Thule. So leave your comments and thoughts in the uh, section below. And most of all guys, thank you for watching. And look, life is short. Go MTB, have some fun. Thanks and we'll see you again soon.